Welcome to 2021's Black History Month celebration with the Toronto Police Service. Please enjoy this video with our chief and members of his command team as they celebrate Black History Month. You know, as chief, I think Black History Month uh, really is an opportunity to reflect on where we've come as an organization. Uh, we've been celebrating Black History Month for about 27 years now. And it really is an opportunity to remember and recognize some of the people that have really paved the way for members of uh, our, you know, our, our black community working uh, in, this, in the service. I'm really committed to working with the community and I think there's no better example than the work we're doing now with PACER 2.0. It's a great group of people and we've just launched the Know Your Rights video and it's just a terrific collaboration and terrific work. I really encourage everybody to celebrate Black History Month and really sort of identify what it means to you. Let me take a moment to acknowledge the work of the black community as this is Black History Month. Your strength, your leadership and your vice both to our community members and to the Toronto Police Service has been tremendous and I look forward to building those relationships, strengthening those relationships and leveraging more partnerships. As a Deputy Chief, I'm committed to have the positive relationship. Most importantly is the conversation. We must listen, we must communicate and we must respond to community. So it's not only February, it's every month It's Black History Month. For myself and for members of the Toronto Police Service. So as we are celebrating uh, Black History Month, what I would say to the future young black female police officers within our organization is stay your course. Um, you know, be true to who you are, but also remember to mentor others. Uh, mentorship has been a, a strong uh, um, element of my growth and, and I think that that is also incredibly important. Also, let's remember to amplify the voices, not just of our internal members, but also of our communities at every opportunities that we get. And I, and I think that if we do that, um, you know, our future within our organization will definitely be bright.